the sun is just one sun out of literally billions of trillions. So you could spend your whole life worshiping every sun and it wouldn't be enough. It on meditation. Hey guys, as you can see, I have all these journals. The link will be in the description. So go ahead and check this out. It'll be in Amazon. Go ahead and get the book if you want to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Hello guys, I am Han, this is Kelly. We are Han Meditations and we're back Hi. with another video. Every time we do a video on this channel, especially whenever we're doing chat GPT or reaction or whatever, it leads us down a different path and it's just so insane. It's just so fun and exciting because we never know, now more than ever, we never know where a video is going to lead us. So never. let's go ahead and ask this question. I got a good question to ask. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hello, Chat GPT. I have a question. Would you say that it's most likely that there is only one God? Hey. Yes, many religious traditions like Islam, Christianity, and Judaism believe in the existence of only one God. It's called monotheism. And the idea is that there's one supreme, all powerful being who created and oversees everything. What's on your mind about this? Why do you think that paganism has almost completely died out in um, modern times? That's a great question. Paganism, with its belief in multiple gods and nature-based practices, has faded in many parts of the world due to the rise and spread of monotheistic religions like Christianity and Islam. Several factors contributed to this shift. First, the expansion of powerful empires and kingdoms that adopted monotheistic religions led to the systematic replacement of pagan traditions. For instance, the Roman Empire embraced Christianity, which eventually became the dominant religion across Europe. With state support, monotheism was able to grow and reach many people. Second, monotheistic religions often emphasized a universal truth and mission to spread their teachings, which contributed to their dominance. Pagan beliefs were usually localized and tied to specific cultures, making them less likely to spread as widely. Lastly, the idea of one all-powerful God may have appealed to many people seeking a more unified and structured view of the divine. Paganism, with its many gods and rituals, may have seemed less accessible or relevant to people as society changed. What do you think about how these shifts took place? Oh. I think it's actually really interesting and I never even heard you ask me a question before. So that's interesting. It seems like you're evolving in a weird way that you're asking me questions now. But I have to ask whenever, <laughs> whenever now. Yeah, now we're really talking. <laughs> but did the when the Roman Empire shifted from Christianity, I mean, from paganism to Christianity, was it a hard shift? And why did they choose to embrace monotheism over paganism? I'm glad you find it interesting. It's fun when conversations flow both ways. And yeah, the shift from paganism to Christianity in the Roman Empire was a big deal, and it wasn't exactly smooth or immediate. The process began with Emperor Constantine in the early fourth century. He converted to Christianity after reportedly having a vision before a battle, which led him to believe that the Christian God was protecting him. After that, Christianity gained favor, especially when Constantine issued the Edict of Milan in 313 AD, which legalized Christianity and ended the persecution of Christians. This was a major turning point because Christians had been persecuted for centuries prior to this. However, the shift didn't happen overnight. Paganism remained widespread for a while. Many Romans still worshiped their traditional gods, and it took time for Christianity to become the dominant faith. But once Constantine and later emperors, like Theodosius I, who made Christianity the official state religion in 380 AD, embraced it, the state began actively discouraging pagan practices. Pagan temples were either closed or repurposed as Christian churches, and pagan festivals were either abolished or Christianized. One reason for the empire's embrace of monotheism might have been the unity that Christianity offered. The Roman Empire was vast, with many different cultures, languages, and traditions. A single, unified religion 
could help bring some order and cohesion to such a diverse population. Monotheism also offered a more structured and centralized approach to worship and belief, which aligned with the empire's need for stability. The shift was driven by both political and spiritual factors. The Roman emperors likely saw Christianity as a way to strengthen their authority by linking their rule to a single, all-powerful God. What do you think made people so receptive to that shift at the time? What I think is that the simplest answer is always the best and the right answer. Not always, obviously, but it doesn't make sense to have a God for this, a God for that, a God for this, da, 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 da. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make logical sense to be worshiping. This is the God of the sun. This is the God of fertility. This is the God of, of making money. This is the God of the God and the God of da, 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 da. It's like it's too convoluted because there's just one. We all come from one creation and one creator. It's just that simple. And it really is interesting whenever you just think about how all throughout all time, you know, paganism was almost just completely wiped out and abolished throughout all time. Isn't that just such a weird kind of thing, Kelly? Because people don't really think about that. Paganism, most people used to be pagans, I'm pretty sure. And then it just got completely wiped out, dude, because yeah. Satan came and tricked people and do this and do that and do rituals. And, you know, and I do believe that there are different paths to God. But if you're worshiping individual beings, I think that's where definitely I draw the line. Like if you if you are a Christian, if you're a Muslim, if you're, you know, believe in Judaism, you, any Abrahamic religion, you essentially are believing in the same God, even in some um, in, in some um, sex and Hinduism and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, it's but if you're. Yeah, because I think like any time that deities and such are kind of accepted it just kind of automatically starts getting wishy washy and kind of opens up that that keyhole for people to kind of start going down the wrong path because like you said and within hinduism i've actually heard of essentially hindu cults essentially that formed and then they were kind of more into worshiping krishna or some of the deities and it just seems like every time it goes towards that it somehow goes down the wrong path and now however for paganism to get essentially demolished dang near across the world i have to be fair i mean i've heard about in the history that you know maybe a lot of them were just kind of wiped out like with the crusades and stuff so that could be a part of it too but i'm sure a lot of people were actually converted but then again how many were forced converted so just playing devil's advocate i like to just think about all options because i'm sure mm -hmm. that did play into it but of course, I mean, it still is today that most people believe in the one God. And there is absolute truth to that when billions, millions of people see it that way. And, and we know the truth for, you know, straight hand, the power of it. But uh -huh. I agree that. Wait, wait, what did you just say? For straight hand. I just, I didn't say the right words. <laughs> but <laughs> It happens, guys. We're, we're not editing this. So, you know what I mean? No, I'm going to edit that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I just think it is just for a God of wind and a God of this and a God of that. It just, because it, it's like, it's the one and the all, right? Like, because at the end of the day, it's just one universe. Mm. And the sun is just one sun out of literally billions of trillions. So what is there no one God for every sun out there? You oh know? yeah, so, you're right. You're right. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Kelly always has these really good logical points sometimes. Not whenever I'm wrong, you know what I mean? Like we're having a marital dispute about who should do this or that. And then, you know, of course she's wrong. No, I'm just kidding. But um, Kelly has all these happy logical. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Guys. Keep your wife happy. But no, Kelly, you're right. There's the sun is just one of trillions of suns. So, I mean, if you're saying this is the God of the sun and you worship the sun, I mean, you're worshiping every sun that you you could spend your whole life worshiping every sun and it wouldn't be enough it's just it's just too crazy so 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being here. And uh, thank you guys for the new subscribers. We love you all. We're glad that you guys are here. Liking, commenting, and being here is enough. But thank you to the people who donate. You're really keeping the channel going by sending us your beautiful do donations. And we appreciate it and see your beautiful messages. Thank so you, everyone. Thank you guys for being here. And we'll see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.